How's it going, everybody? We're back with more Mode of Madness compilation videos. Angry Trucker pulls knife. Nobody said the bike life would be easy. Episode 96. It looks like we're on two uh, sport bikes, possibly leader bikes. Don't I don't really know. I don't follow Suzuki that much. Know which bike this is, which is GSXR. Do they still make a 750? I don't even know because I don't ride street bikes anymore. So I don't follow it. But it looks like they're going at a high rate of speed. So let's have a look. Oh, it does say GSXR 1000. 2008 GSXR. Wow, that is some head sled, tank slapper there. Let's go back. I don't let's go back. Whoa! Oh! Oh, keeps it up though. Good on him. That can be scary. I had it happen to me on a cruiser once. Whoa. Okay, he's being cautious. Right, right here, I would have probably just hit my brakes and stopped. I kept going though. Wow. I would say it's the motorcyclist's fault. I, he was overly paranoid, which I guess is kind of good. But if he would have just went, he would have been probably out of there, out of the way. And when he initially saw, he probably should have just stopped because it seemed to me he was merging into this lane, so he should have probably waited. I don't know though, because I don't live in this country, so. <laughs> Ooh, deer. <laughs> White tail or scary? Oh, man. Yeah. Scary stuff. Philippines again. Lately, we've had a lot of Philippine videos. Whoa! Did not even, you could even see if they blended right in with the lights and everything. Yeah, it would have been their fault. I mean, they should have made sure it was clear before making the turn. You know, you're going way too fast for lane sharing. Even in California, you're not supposed to go that much above everyone else. I don't know. There's a whole set rule thing about how fast traffic's going, how fast you can go over traffic and all that that deal. I think at the speeds they're going, they're not supposed to lane split, but they do anyways. When you have, I always thought the stupid mirrors on the end of the bars were stupid because it just makes it much that wider. If you live in an area where you are lane splitting, lane sharing, if you want to call it that, then why would you want your bars any wider? You know, it's going to be harder to judge. It's one more thing sticking out. It's already, it can be tight in some areas. I have lane split in California, so, <laughs> you know, it can be difficult. You got to be careful. Right there. Boom. Didn't hurt the vehicle. Didn't hurt his mirror. It would just be annoying being the driver, you know, that somebody did that. Whoa! Yeah, you can tell they couldn't, they can't see around this truck. Oh, I can't see around it. Boom. Man, I think this is just a true accident, man. They 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 couldn't see. They probably no one has come for a little bit because you can tell in front of the motorcyclist there is no traffic. So you'd be like, okay, I, I'm good. I mean, you know, what's the chances? Well, that's the thing. It's still 50-50. <laughs> Oh, come on. That was a true mistake right there. The biker in Colombia is is set upon by an angry trucker with a knife. Okay. An angry trucker. Of course, they're not going to show us what happened beforehand, right? What did the rider do that made this trucker mad? Just gotta say, usually people just don't act out for no reason. It can happen, but usually not the case. Yeah, he's going up to the bike. He's gonna do something. He's pissed. Yeah, it's Colombia. He might not care. Huh? 
Suelta ese cuchillo. Suelta ese cuchillo. Suelta ese cuchillo. Yeah, you don't know who he belongs to, who, what cartel backs him. You don't know, right? I don't know. Could just be a, a nut, too. Well, it could be a nut that has a backing of somebody. <laughs> Go find your key. <laughs> And again, it's Colombia. He might know somebody and you don't, or he knows somebody more than you do. It's a, a who you know game in these countries. Yeah. Good luck. Just because you have GoPro doesn't mean anything. Well, you're going to call the company and the company's going to be like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> we don't care. Hey. That would have been the car's fault, but it looked like there was enough room there. That's why he don't take off from a light bike. He was on a small bike. He ain't taking off from anything. <laughs> this is 125. <laughs> yeah, car's fault. Suzuki GSX-R. Okay. Using blinker, getting over. Good. Whoa! Oh. Truck decided they need a turn. Not sure what happened here, but be careful out there. Not sure what happened here. Well, he did a human error. Was in was like, oh, I need to be turning there, and didn't think about it. Just got over. Probably didn't ever see you. Probably last he looked, there was no one around, and it, a true accident, you know. Um, not sure what happened here. He, he didn't try to hit you on purpose. That's, <laughs> you know. I don't know why you're still honking. <laughs> it's a two stroke. Maybe. <laughs> Man, head gasket's gone or something. Thing is smoking. Florida. can't see in so you don't know if any waves were given or the looks on their face or just go you know you just continue on okay what is this las vegas please recycle your room key so i guess they're leaving checking out they usually have cameras at these so if you snuck out without pain or something maybe it's just not working we really don't know we don't know the context here Yeah, we really don't know the context there. I guess it's just a funny video. I don't know if they're trying to get free parking or it just wasn't working for the motorbike. So just go around it, right? I mean, what else are you going to do? Ooh, yeah, that's going to be slick. Mud, mud, water. You can see the mud, the dried mud on the ground. It's probably like clay. That's so silly. Yeah, it was. You should have went around it. <laughs> Biker noted driver was texting on the phone. I don't know how you know that right here. In that quick video, how did he know they were texting? Okay, let's see. Is there slow-mo or something? Driver's definitely at fault, but how did they know about texting is what I don't understand. Notice she has completely put her phone down. I couldn't even tell that there was a phone up prior. It happened so quick. Oh, followed. 
Yeah, it's just don't follow people. Again, you don't know who these people are and how crazy they are. I mean, after all, you have to be kind of nutty because they have all those stickers. One's a Ron John surf, surf shop on the right side. Oh, it's bad that I know that. And it's a Tennessee plate, so. That was unbelievably stupid. You almost took me out. You almost took me out. If I hadn't anticipated that, if I hadn't anticipated that, listen to me. If I hadn't anticipated that, you would have taken me out. This is life and death. You have got a 3,000 pound bullet you're driving. You nearly killed me. Yeah, because she's not paying attention. Maybe she had a phone. I, I mean... I we couldn't see it but whatever i mean it doesn't mean she was on the phone she could have just been moving it from her lap or something you know i sometimes kind of sit on my phone or whatever you know that is a three thousand pound bullet now are you listening i don't think you listened to a word i said i didn't get a chance to explain myself well you know what you didn't try to back there and then you continued on and then he came up to talk to you and then you know he, he would have the right to say his piece first because you don't know what he's going to say how would you know how to respond you ran a red light and nearly took me out it was red for you you're going to kill somebody I just don't think you should be following people. I, not a good idea. I'm not going to say I've never done that. Wasn't running a GoPro. <laughs> not something I'd put up. Yeah, riders are at fault here. Impatient, in a hurry. Hey, so if they go down, oh well. Mexico going way over the speed limit. Don't know what he's doing, but you're going way too fast. Is there a road there? Oh, it is. Is backing into the road? Coming out of the road? I don't know. That wasn't Mexico, by the way. You know how I know? A, the roads don't look like that there. And B, they don't have U.S. Postal Service trucks that's on the right. You can just catch a glimpse of it. Yeah, I'm not going to bother pausing. I hate the whole line that it was in Mexico. No, it wasn't. <laughs> and that doesn't somehow get you out of the liability of posting it online. If somebody can identify that road, it's like, oh, yeah, I live right down the street. Oh, yeah, that's right here and gives that to the police. The putting the words it was in Mexico isn't going to help you any. <laughs> through a farmer's field. <laughs> like, maybe you should look where you're going. What the hell? <laughs> uh, yeah, you kind of have to know your area. What was that person standing on the shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Eden Canyon Road. See, now you can look it up with Google Maps. <laughs> We're obviously on the interstate. Not quite sure what's going on. California, so I'm guessing not legal. Still watching. Good. Let's check out these epic trails filmed by Kumo somewhere in California. I'm guessing private if it has a jump. <laughs> okay, this would be probably public. No. 
Nice. I love ridges like this because I hate heights, but I ride that stuff anyways. <laughs> Just can't think about it. Nice. GoPro always makes it look steeper on the sides than it is, but I can tell you, a lot of times it, it's pretty steep. It just makes it look even steeper. Feet off. Put your feet on the pegs. <laughs> some pretty good videos hopefully you all enjoyed that compilation from moto madness and my reactions to them, my analyzing of them y'all take care stay well my friends and get out there and ride if you have those two wheels it is a lot of fun don't be an idiot like some of the riders that we see in these videos anyways have a good one bye